This is Nintendo TV News. This episode marks a special day in history, and that is the last ever Nintendo TV News before the release of the 3DS. I'm sure the next time we see you our lives will have been changed completely and somehow everything in the world will be a little bit better. We're looking forward to the 3DS launch more than we looked forward to the ending of Lost, though we're sure the 3DS launch will bring about joy and happiness rather than crushing disappointment and severe depression. The launch lineup for the 3DS is looking particularly hefty with some serious heavy hitters available from day one. There's pretty much something for everyone from the get-go, and one of the best games in our opinion is Super Street Fighter 4 3D. Not only do you get 35 playable characters to choose from, but Capcom have been working hard to make sure that this isn't just Street Fighter 4 with fancy 3D. Oh no, they've come up with an entirely new over-the-shoulder camera look that even has seasoned Street Fighter fans excited. If fighting isn't your thing, then Konami have released Pro Evolution Soccer in 3D. This veteran football sim also has a brand new third-person angle, which really shows off the 3D. Ridge Racer 3D has also thrown its high-speed hat into the 3DS release ring. This is definitely up there with one of the best games on release from day one, and is definitely going to produce plenty of excited oohs and ahs from anyone who sees the amazing visuals. There's loads more on offer from day one too, and we'll be running down some of our favourite launch games in the coming weeks. With less than a week to go, 3DS news is coming thick and fast. One of the most exciting things we learned this week, though, came from the developers of Mario Kart 3D. Nintendo revealed this week that a lot of work has gone into rebooting the much-loved racer for the 3DS, and that this included a much more balanced item system. We've all been there, racing past our opponents, watching them chow down on our dust, only for Johnny come lately back in last place to let loose a giant blue shell. The only thing bluer than the shell is the air as we colour it with some words you wouldn't want to say to your grandmother. The producers, though, assured us that our complaints have been heard, and Mario Kart 3D will be a much more balanced affair. This week, Satoru Iwata revealed that the 3DS version of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time will be crammed with things that weren't in the Nintendo 64 version. Iwata said Nintendo had obviously been working hard to improve the visuals, but fans of the game will also be treated to a whole bunch of extras in the revamped version. Having played a little bit of the game, we can tell you that Hyrule's awesome 3D field is shaping up nicely, and whether you're a lifelong fan or playing the game for the first time, you should be pretty excited about Ocarina of Time 3D. Pokemon Black and White has been out for more than two weeks now, with Pokemon White becoming the second fastest selling DS game of all time. Don't worry if you're yet to catch them all though, as we found out this week that the game director himself, Junichi Masuda, is still struggling to fill his Pokedex. Yes, the man behind Pokemon Black and White says he's still got a long way to go before he'll finish the game. You'd be forgiven for forgetting there's anything else going on in the world right now except for the 3DS and Pokemon, but be sure not to miss out on one of the cutest games around. Akamiden is out now on DS and is the follow-up to the Wii paint em up adventure where you play this really cute dog. Yes, Chibiturasu is the name of the little guy you play on your journey, which takes place nine months after the events of Akami. The Celestial Brush is back and is suited perfectly to the stylus and touchscreen of the DS. Fans of the likes of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker will definitely be into this game. The game is out now. Look out for our special interview with the developers coming soon. That's it for this week. Next week we have, wait for it, a 3DS launch spectacular. We'll be speaking to a load of celebrities who'll be telling us exactly what they're looking forward to about the 3DS. It's all right here on Nintendo TV.